MTV's newest show, The Hard Times of R.J. Berger, is a scripted comedy following the awkward life of R.J. Berger, who has, well, let's just say an anatomical gift. Let's take a look. Nature made me scrawny and weird looking. Awkward and pale. It's official. I'm God's urinal cake. Nature did a lot of things. You think you could disrespect me, huh? But it also gave me a gift. It's a goddamn Buick Regal. You have something that every guy in school would kill for. And I intend to use it. And we are so happy to be joined now by the show's star, Paul Iacono. Paul, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Tanya. So tell us a little bit about the premise behind your show. As much as you can, we have to dance around some of the central themes, but we get the we get the gist. Well, you know, it's 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 your your coming of age tale, you know, your modern day coming of age tale from a really awkward adolescent named R.J. Berger, who uh, has never really been noticed before until this sort of you know this this huge event happens in which his basketball shorts fall down at the big game in the first episode, and everyone sees that this loser nobody kid is extremely well endowed. Aha, uh -huh. so and, his life changes. You know, he goes from being infamous to, in, he goes from being anonymous to infamous. Right. And, um, you know, this, this doesn't necessarily make him cool, this doesn't necessarily make him uh, revered by women, um, but people are just sort of noticing him now, which sort of gives him, you know, the diving board effect to, to possibly muster up the courage and grow some you know, other atomical <laughs> gifts and, uh, In other you know, areas. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and, and go after the girl of his dreams and, you know, start to find himself. And that girl is sort of the class hottie, Jenna Swanson. Jenny Swanson, right? yeah. Tell us about your, your character's relationship with her. She's, you know, she is the perfect girl next door, you know, beautiful, all-American kind of girl. And, um, and RJ has been in love with her since they've been kids. And... You know, she's never really noticed him before, and and now she's... After this event, she's taken notice. But I'd, yeah. I'd imagine that there would be other gentlemen who would not be so happy, such as Jenny's suitors. Yes. Uh, Jenny's boyfriend, Max, happens to be the meanest jock in school, of course. And he, you know, has never liked me because I'm, you know, an easy target. Um, and now he really doesn't like me because, again, Jenny has started to raise an eyebrow or two. Right. Now, it's interesting because the show does seem to pick on, pick up on a theme that we've seen before, Boogie Nights, Hung. Mm -hmm. Have you seen both of those? Oh, very, yes. Yeah. Boogie Nights is one of my favorite films. Um, I was actually Dirk Diggler for Halloween. <laughs> Perfect. Like three years ago. And all, I, yeah, I got a cucumber from a bodega. <laughs> I shaved that thing down. I stuck it in some tight jeans that were a girlfriend's pair of mine. And, and sent a picture to the casting director. Yes, exactly. And stunt casting. And here I am. But all joking aside, you've had a very long career as an actor. You started at age 10. Is that right? In even, theater? Even younger. younger? I, was, I, was like, I was like five and six doing uh, you know, community theater uh, right outside Manhattan in, in New Jersey. And, and, and I grew up in Secaucus. Great. And, um, East Coast boy. Oh, all the uh, way. All the way. And so you've also written some plays. Is that right? Yes. 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 Tell us about um, that. I have, um, I went to the high school performing arts. Ah, here in the Manhattan. fame school. Yeah, which ironically enough, I yes. was in the remake of Fame that came out this past September. Was that a prerequisite for auditioning for the movie? You had to have actually attended? The no, school? it was no? just, I mean, it was a total plus though, because, right. you know, I, I walked in with a bit of confidence, sort of, you know, really having lived that experience, you know, and the character was strikingly like me, you know, from the first draft of the script. So, a theater major? You're um, he was a he's he was a uh, a film major okay. or or an acting major who who you know had an emphasis in in film production, um, you know zany, neurotic, right. ambitious filmmaker. So yeah, I got that. And how and close was the movie to the actual experience of going to the school? Um, Did the writers get it right? The the writers got the essence of it. You yeah. know they they got the the zest and the passion behind it. Um, I don't think my high school experience was necessarily rated PG. But right. um, you know, right. besides that, they, they, they got the they got the passion behind it, um, and from there, yeah, I guess I, uh, you know, as an actor, you 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 can never really be plugged into too many creative outlets, or as any type of artist. So playwriting came natural to me because growing up in the theater and growing up um, surrounded by such amazing talents and actors and writers, I grew a, a really great ear for dialogue and for narrative, 
And um, you know, it's all about storytelling. That's Absolutely. what it really comes down to. And do you sing as well? More musicals in your future? Um, I'd like to hope so. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good. Any singing on this show? You know what? Uh, in episode three, RJ gets cast in the High School Musical, which is a mashup of West Side Story and Twilight. Fun. So this could become Glee meets. Fame meets hung. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Actually, that's quite accurate. <laughs> right. So, yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Well, yeah. we're looking forward to seeing you. Thank in the you show so and much. Seeing more of it. It's fantastic talking to you. You too, Tanya. And you can catch the hard times of R.J. Berger on June 6th at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on MTV. That's all the buzz we have for you today. I'm Tanya Rivero in New York. Thanks for watching.